Ever since I first started doing videos on the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 about 6 months ago, a lot of people have been commenting asking, what do you think about the Intel version? Are you gonna review the Intel version? And I repeatedly said, I'm not gonna look at it before they release it with the 11th gen Intel CPUs. Today is that day. This is the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 with the Intel 11th Gen Tiger Lake i5 CPU and those XE graphics which I think will make quite a big difference when it comes to gaming and video editing for example compared to the really weak graphics of the 10th Gen CPUs. I am W2Best, I make in-depth gear reviews and tutorials and if you like this kind of video after watching it I would be really happy if you wanted to like the video and maybe also subscribe to the channel. That helps me out a lot and gives me a lot of motivation to bring out new content weekly as we move forward during winter and spring. If you've been watching my videos on Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 before, maybe there's not too many news in this video. But if you haven't watched me before, there is a ton of Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 content mainly focused around the AMD versions of this laptop. And I will link to that content in the description below. There's no time to waste, today is the unboxing day of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Intel 11th Gen version. Alright, here we have the box in all of its glory. On the front it says Yoga in very big letters and Lenovo down here on the right hand side. On the top part of the box we just have some different uh, logos printed. On the back we have this battery information and then the sticker where we need to open to get into the laptop. On this one side there's not too much to dig into. But on the other side we have the specifications of the laptop. So this is the Intel i5 1135G7 2.4 GHz with 16 GB RAM and integrated graphics. It's a 14 inch Full HD IPS display, a 4 cell battery, 512 GB SSD and it comes with Windows Home. Let's get out the unboxing scissors and get into this thing. Opening the box up we get presented with this layout. So we just have some foam and it's not very fancy packaging I think. If you compare it to Asus for example they have this really fancy lift mechanism in the box, which is really nice when you first open it up. But this is what you see, and here down on the side we have the power cable, which is a relatively standard power cable. It's a little bit clunky and heavy for the kind of power adapter that it comes with, which I presume will be down here as well. So here we have the 65 watt power adapter and uh, this guy as you can see is in a pretty decent format but it comes with this kind of plug so it needs those a little bit heavier cables to go with it. Then we just have the main compartment left so let's get the laptop out of here. very gracefully things come falling out of this box. At first we have some security and warranty information together with a quick start guide. Then we come to the laptop itself which is packed up with this protective foam. So let's get into this and see how it feels. And there we have the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i, the Intel i5 11th gen version. Let's check the outsides of it. As you can see in the front there, it says Yoga 7 series. On the left hand side, we have the USB-C port for charging. This one is marked up with a little Thunderbolt symbol, but from what I have read in the specifications, this is supposed to not be a Thunderbolt port. This is the HDMI port, and then here you have the Thunderbolt 4 port, but I will make sure to try out if both of these ports work with Thunderbolt. Then we have the headphone microphone combo jack, 
On the right hand side you have a micro SD card reader, then you have two regular USB A ports, a power button and then the power indicator down there. On the back part here there's not too much to it except this hinge. On the bottom side you have this relatively big ventilation grill together with some rubber feet and this rubber ledge in the back to be able to lift the laptop a little bit and make airflow happen a bit easier. And last but not least on the top here you have yoga printed up there together with this little Lenovo logo down here in the corner. So it's a subtle branding but still there's two logos available on the front here. Let's see if we can open it with one hand. That was no problem although it was sliding a little bit on my table here. So here we have the inside of it and as you can see here it says Intel Evo powered by core and this is the i5 version with the XE graphics. It does come with 16 gigabytes of RAM running in dual channel. You also have the little Dolby Atmos speaker system logo down here which is a really good feature of this laptop making the sound very very useful and I would normally not even need to bring an external speaker if I'm going away on a trip for example. Let's start it up and see if we have power in it or if we need to plug it in. There's not too much happening there so I'm gonna take my Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 AMD charger which is exactly the same model and plug this in and give it some power. Alright, let's begin the setup process. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. As you can hear, Cortana is speaking immediately and the speakers are really good on this laptop. Now, the most interesting thing, I think, always when setting up a new laptop is not installing Windows, but actually looking out for potential quality control issues. And some issues that are very prominent in the Yoga Slim 7 line are backlight bleed, which I will have to check in a minute in a darker environment, and also coil wine, which I have had quite a lot in my 4500U model. I think I got lucky, there is no coil wine in this unit, it is really silent at the moment. That's great and a big plus over my other unit that I'm currently using. That's the other part that caused me a bit of a nervous moment because on my first Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 the webcam wasn't working so Windows Hello wouldn't work and with that the auto login feature that is on Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 if you leave the laptop it will go to sleep but if you come back it will recognize that you are back and then log you in without you actually touching the laptop. Having that feature is really handy but on the first one I had where the webcam wasn't working it didn't work at all. On this unit, as you can see, the webcam was working just fine and the Windows Hello was set up just fine. Now we can start getting a first look of the display and see are there any dead pixels? Are there any backlight bleed? Right now I can't see if there is any. It looks pretty good to be honest. That was uh, definitely too good to be true. As you can see here, up top in the left side of the screen there is a bit of backlight bleed and uh, this is visible when you're on max brightness turn the screen to a black image and then go into a dark room like this one. There is a little bit on the right hand side as well but the visible spot is on the left part of the screen there. But as you can see here in the daylight there is not much signs of this backlight bleed up here. So I don't think it's too bad, but I have, to, uh, I have to play around with it a bit more and see if I think it's bad or not. I'm W2Best and I make videos about tech travel and inspiration. And if you like this video after you watched it, I would be really happy if you wanted to subscribe to this channel. That helps me out a ton. And then you get all of the videos I'm going to be putting out about these laptops and other tech related stuff moving forward the upcoming weeks and months. 
So there you have the screen and the speaker quality and I think it is really good. And also I just want to point out that I'm wearing the same shirt. My wardrobe isn't that big and I really tried to work it down to an as minimal wardrobe as possible, which might show in videos sometimes. The trackpad feels super smooth and responsive and I have really nothing to complain about. The same with the keyboard, it feels really responsive and nice and it's a typical Lenovo keyboard really. We have the 66% battery now, so I don't really need to keep the cable plugged in. And this leads me to my last point. I wanted to see if both of these ports provide display port out, and therefore if they are Thunderbolt 4 ports, both of them, or if it's just this port that provides display port out. Moment of truth. Let's see if this display will work. Oh yes, we appear to have monitor out from this connection as well. This is an amazing upgrade from the AMD version that only has DisplayPort in one of these ports and therefore make it a less versatile version for me to use. For example, with this kind of absurd mobile triple screen setup that I actually use quite a lot for work. Will there be DisplayPort out in the second Thunderbolt port, USB-C 4.0 port. Monitor fires up and seems to be working fine. There we have it. We have double monitor out on this laptop. This is one thing that I have actually missed quite a bit. With this kind of setup, I don't have to use the HDMI port I can just use two cables in total and power the monitors and be all set up. Very nice to see this. I will of course be testing out a lot of different setups with this laptop and bring them into my full review of the machine. That is it for my unboxing and first look of the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i. The Intel version with the 11th gen i5 CPU. I will be testing it out extensively over the upcoming weeks, come back with a full review, and then an in-depth comparison between the AMD version and the Intel version. So if you want that content among other tech-related videos, please subscribe to the channel, and then I will see you in the next video. Have a really nice day. Bye-bye.